IPOP issued a statement asking members or their people to observe 30th of this month as sit at home day to honor their, according to them, their fallen heroes. What is the military doing about this? Well, with regards to certain statements which you said that uh, the indigenous people of Biafra have made, I will say this. The days of sit at home is over. You guys have gone to the field and you've seen it. That statement is just mere propaganda. We have decimated that group. We've taken out several of their senior commanders and several of their combatants have been taken out of the field. And such statements made is just seeking red bands. I assure you that the people of the Southeast have nothing to worry about. We are fully in charge, we are fully in control, and we are there to ensure that these groups can no longer carry out acts of terror on our citizens or even harm them. Uh, in the course of your briefing, you did mention um, the to the to the incident that uh, the armed forces uh, has concluded uh, investigations uh, of that uh, sad incident, and that uh, personnel are to be personnel are to be court martial. Could you please uh, tell us how many? Personnel are involved in this. Thank you. Well, like I already mentioned, the Tudumbiri incident, the investigation has been concluded. And we have found out that the incident shouldn't have taken place in the first place. Now, those responsible are to face a court martial for their acts of omission or commission as related to the incident. I also mentioned that it will be adjudged as prejudicial if I were to speak more on this case as it is, as it is before a court martial. I'm sure you can understand that. But for the number of personnel involved, there are two of them.